Hi folks, Aconcagua. Yes, I'll repeat that, Aconcagua. Where or what is Aconcagua? Stay tuned and I'll enlighten you. Aconcagua coming right up. Hi guys, welcome to yet another edition of Big On Wine, the show which, as you know, gives you news, reviews and clues about, yes, everything in the world of wine. And today we are on our way to Aconcagua and uh, I'll tell you all about that in just a moment. Here it is. This is my wine of the week. It's this one here. It's Aconcagua Alto. Cabernet Sauvignon and the vintage is 2016 and this wine comes in for a price of just under 20 euro a bottle where I am. Okay there we go. Right now first of all let's tell you about the wine before we tell you about the name. The wine here is a blend of three different varieties. We have the Cabernet Sauvignon, the Cabernet Franc, and the Petit Verdot. Now, you might well think that I'm talking about a wine from Bordeaux in France here, but I'm not. I'm talking about a wine from South America. The blend here is very, very heavily dominated by Cabernet Sauvignon, 88% Cabernet Sauvignon, 5% Cabernet Franc, and 7% of the Petit Verdot. Now those are three of the six Bordeaux red varieties, but Aconcagua, to answer the question, is both a mountain and a wine region, and they're in different countries. Aconcagua, the mountain, is in fact almost 7,000 metres in height. It's not only the highest mountain in the Andes, it's also the highest mountain in the southern and western hemispheres. Think about it. Okay. The mountain is in Argentina, but the Valle de Aconcagua is in Chile and runs southwest from the Argentinian border down to the Pacific Ocean uh, on the coast north of Valparaiso. Okay. Now this is by name Al Aconcagua Alto, which indicates that it's at the higher end of the valley, so it's um, a wine produced very much at altitude here. Okay, this has 13.5% alcohol, so relatively modest in terms of alcohol, but it has 2.33 grams of uh, sugar, residual sugar per litre, so just that little touch of sugar in the wine and it has spent roughly 14 months in French oak barrels, 30% uh, of which are new. Okay, so this is a fairly solidly oaked wine here. Okay, so we're talking here a big robust um, Bordeaux style wine, uh, red wine, um, with using three of the um, classic Bordeaux red varieties. Right, let's have a sniff of the nose here of the wine. Lovely, lovely wine. Mm, lovely aromas there. Um, dried fruit. Dried fruits, plum. Sweet spices there. Reminds me of Christmas time. Sweet spice. Um, quite mellow, restrained, toasty, with just that little touch of leatheriness in there, undoubtedly donated by those French oak barrels there. So ripe berries, dried fruits, um, blackberries, um, almost like a touch of date in there as well, dates, um, sweet spice, toasty, just a touch of leather. Very nice indeed. The colour in the glass, dark red, um, breaking just slightly towards purple, but a dark red uh, in colour. is It's very, very attractive in the glass indeed. All right, let's try it in the mouth and see what we get. Oh, yes. 
Oh, yes. Now in the mouth, <clears throat> very nice mature taste. It mirrors the nose there. So we're getting the same kind of dried fruits and berries in the mouth as in the nose there. So let's pick them out, see whether we can actually put a name to them. Well, undoubtedly, cherry, dark cherries, um, some kind of blackberry, not quite a blackberry flavor, flavor, but maybe a black raspberry or boysenberry, as they're called, those big, long, dark colored berries. Touch of even a black currant in there. As a child, I can remember drinking Ribena. Now this has almost got a touch of Ribena in it as well. So very, brings back some childhood memories there. So dark cherry, cranberry, uh, boysenberry, uh, even a touch of black currant there. It's got quite lively acid. It's very lively in the mouth. Very solid tannins, big in the mouth, big in the mouth with rather a, a kind of a dry, toasty, leathery finish to the wine. Excellent, excellent stuff, lovely. Okay, not heavy in terms of alcohol, um, very easily drinkable wine, but of course, in terms of those tannins, it does pose a nice challenge to the mouth. Very nice indeed, okay. No guesses at all as to what this wine will be good with. We're looking here at the quintessential combination, I think, of a quality uh, Bordeaux style, but South American take uh, on those three varieties there. So we're looking at beefsteak, we're looking at lamb, uh, blue cheeses, hard salty cheeses, grilled food of practically any description here. Now, it's not too heavy, it's not too big on alcohol to accompany other meat dishes either, but basically we're looking at red meat here, I think. Okay, so let's give you the heads up on this wine here, the Aconcagua Alto. We're talking here about a quality New World take on a classic Bordeaux blend. The Cabernet Sauvignon dominates 88% here, just has that little touch of sugar to soften things, a medium dose of alcohol at 13.5%. It has flexibility to match a variety of uh, cheeses and meat dishes. And of course, this is the kind of wine which you could easily decant uh, in advance of your meal, uh, give, it some, give it time to breathe, Serving temperature around the 18 or 19 degree mark. Quality stuff from Chile's Aconcagua Valley. I'm going to give this wine four stars out of five. Okay, guys, many, many thanks for taking the time and the trouble to check out this week's video and the little introduction to this Aconcagua Alto from quality winemakers Erazuriz there. This is from Chile here, up in the mountains. Very nice stuff. Okay, if you've enjoyed what you've seen and heard, then please do feel free to give us that big thumbs up, which we appreciate so much. Drop a comment down below, good or bad, we can handle it. And of course, Follow me on my other social media platforms and share the video around to your heart's content. And wait, if you haven't done so already, and most remiss of you, then do subscribe by hitting that big red button somewhere up there behind me. And of course, I'll be back again next week with another great wine of the week for you. But until we meet again, this is Tony Melville signing off and saying, hey, take care out there. Be good to each other. Enjoy your wines. And cheers. <laughs>